Hello, hello, Hans. I am back again. This is your handful, Mama. I am back with another video for you guys. Today, I want to show you guys just a little craft that uh, I came up with. Uh, if you haven't watched my video where I did the gallon pickle jar and turned it to a beautiful centerpiece, go ahead and check out that video. And also, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. They go together so every time you hand for mama come on here making a video you'll be first to know so just get that done if you don't mind i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what i'll be working with today these are some sparkling um like the sparkling waters you can buy from aldi's i picked these up from aldi's and they usually are around about i think about three dollars but I had bought some before, and I just like these uh, jars that they come in. And I really didn't want to throw them away this time. So I decided to go ahead and show you guys what I decided to use them for. And this is what I decided to use them for. I just have hand-painted some things on here myself. I have a heart right here that I have hand-painted on here. And I just did an out-of-the-box heart. I didn't do this just the original heart. We all... I always know that the original heart is going to be like pink or probably maybe red, but I just went out of the box and just did it my way. And then also I have like a little a tree right here. This is a tree that I did as well. And I just have several colors, uh, blue, red, green. And also I did an orange and an apple. And I did the orange and the apple my way. I know the orange is usually red. You can get some gray apples as well, but I just designed it my way. Also, you can sit this in your kitchen if you want to just do all uh, fruits on these jars. So the next time you add all these, I don't know if you pick up these sparkling waters from all these. I don't know if you pick them up from Walmart, but if you have these nice glasses, I'm telling you, you can save a lot of money because a lot of these glasses I have paid for to decorate and put them on my table. I have some over there on my dining table. And I had to pay for those. So these, it's like I'm getting a steal because I've already paid for it. I drank the sparkling uh, juice out of it. And now I get to just decorate it. So the only thing I did was just took the label off of it and just cleaned it off. That was very simple. And uh, I like this bottle because it has on here like when they first started making this sparkling water, and it's saying Gayer, uh, Friars, Mason, Fancy, and it says it started in 1895. So it's some stuff already on here that's uh, engraved in the bottle, the writing. But I'm going to go ahead and show you guys what I'm using. Something simple. Y'all probably going to get a laugh out of here, but I try to use everything that I can when I'm... Uh, using things and I just have my little paintbrush right here this is my little paintbrush that I have and also I just have some pieces of cardboard right here and I cut these pieces of cardboard down from <laughs> this fruit and grain granola bars box I bought a box of these I think maybe a week or so ago and I was about to trash it and I said, well, I know I was going to need cardboard. So I'm like, I can just cut that down to put my paint on. And you can pick up these brushes from the Dollar Tree. You can also pick up paint from the Dollar Tree. Or you can pick the paint up at your Walmart, wherever you prefer. But it's probably going to be cheaper at your Dollar Tree. But I already have some paints here that I've already had before. And I just saved them. This is... um like a yellow right here and then I have well I'm just going to show you guys the whole box instead of just showing you each color I have several colors right here but you can pick up the paint from like I said Walmart probably your Dollar Tree store probably your Dollar General store your family dollar but I'm pretty sure I know Walmart has it and over there in the craft section and then also they have it at the Dollar Tree. And I think at the at Walmart, it's probably like maybe 50 cents a bottle. You can get the 50 cent bottle. But this is not messy. And if you do get a little on your hand, like I got a little on my hand, that's okay because 
it washes right off. I just like to do these little crafts to save money. And then like if I want to decorate for the holiday or something like that, I can. So um, I'm going to go ahead and get started here. And like I said, it comes right off. If you want to take it right off, just say if you want to, you, you drew something and you said, well, I don't like that. You can just wipe that off with an old towel or something. Just get it a little damp. Put a little soap on it and then it'll come right off. But if I wanted to, I could have just did all red apples on here or bananas or whatever you like, flowers, you know, whatever you like. So it's not very difficult. And then again, if you don't like to just draw it on here, you know, with the paint and use the paintbrush, you can also cut out little shapes. Like I had cut out like a little heart. I cut out the heart and then I just put it in the yellow paint on the cardboard and then I just held it on here and it, it just made a heart shape. So I'm really using my cardboard from my uh, granola bars. I told y'all your handful of mama make sure she used everything. <laughs> I don't throw anything away. Okay. Especially if I can't if I can't use it, I throw it away. But if I can get some use out of it, I'm gonna go ahead and use it. So I'm gonna decide what I want to draw. I did a heart on here and I did the first. I think I'm gonna try to do a banana. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up the yellow kind and I'm gonna pull just a little out on my little cardboard. I haven't used this piece, so I just put a little right here, and then you don't need much. That's how it looks. You don't need much so i'm going to close that back up and i like to close each one of them up and i'm going to attempt to draw a banana on here and i'm probably going to use this for the kitchen just draw some fruits on here because i didn't draw a banana on that one but i did do an orange and an apple and like i said i can do it you can do it however you want you can do it big you can do it small, just however you prefer. And I'm going to show you guys as soon as I get it on here. Like I said, you can get your paint from uh, your Walmart. And I think the Dollar Tree sell it. I haven't been to the Dollar Tree in a long time. And... I don't want to send you there if they don't have it, but I'm pretty sure they do. I know they had it a while back when I uh, went there. They had the paint because I think one of the kids picked up uh, some of the paint or they was trying to get some paint from Dollar Tree. And that's the best place to get it because, you know, it's, not, it's only going to be a dollar and you won't have to worry about spending a whole lot of money. I like to bring you guys simple uh, ideas, and I don't want you to spend a whole lot of money because your handful of mama is always trying to save and also trying to bring these videos so you can save as well. So the next time you have like a simple bottle or something, it might make you change your mind and think that, oh, I can make something out of this and just keep it, you know, instead of just throwing it away. Okay, now I have like this green color. I'm going to use this green color. It might look a little blue on y'all side, but it is a green. I've already put some green on this side, but that has, you know, already dried up. And it don't take much. And I just like to do this when I'm sitting around. I've had a busy day and I want to wind down. I want to try to relax, get my mind clear. This is something that I like to do. I'm going to use the green. I'm trying to see how do uh do the banana have like a little green stem on the top. I think some of them do, but I'm just not, I'm not going to put a big one on here. I'm just going to put a small one on here. And this is how the banana is looking, you guys. And I'm sorry for my camera. I'm telling you, um, like I said, I've been trying to get some more equipment. Um. My camera that I use when I'm screaming is a lot clearer, but I hope you guys can see this. This is a banana and very simple. So like I said, the next time you guys have some jars like this, um, don't throw them away. You can make just simple designs, just wash them up and um, take off the label. Really simple. Something that you can enjoy with a friend. 
Maybe you might want a friend over and y'all can have like just one particular night, maybe a Wednesday night, uh, sipping paint or a Thursday night, get together and you guys can paint. Even if it's on like one of those canvas, you can pick up those canvas from the Dollar Tree and they also have the canvas at Walmart. So, you know, it's something really relaxing. If you don't drink alcohol, just get you a nice cup of coffee or a glass of warm tea and just get with your friends and just have that relaxing hour or hour and a half. Put on your favorite movie and, you know, those girl movies like I love um, Way to His Hell. I think it's Way to His Hell. And just several movies like, you know, you would want to get together and watch with your friends while you're sipping and painting and just have that relaxing time. Like right now, my son is over there. He's playing on his game. And I'm just sitting here in the living room, chilling out. Picking at him every now and then. He's on one of those games. I don't think it's, is it Fortnite? You on Fortnite? Okay. He's on Fortnite. So we just sitting here and having just a good old time with the air on. And he's just chilling on his game. And I'm sitting over here just right across the room and just, just painting. I don't have anything to sip on, but I'm probably going to go get me probably some green tea. I have started back drinking my green tea. Well, I'm just going to give me a cold bottle of water and probably a light snack and finish my painting. So, and it dries really fast. But this is um the banana that I drew on here. And I'm trying to think of something else I might want to do. I think I'm going to do a strawberry. Now, I don't have a real red color, but this is kind of like a red orange. So I'm just going to use a drop of that. And I already had put some on here when I was painting the other things earlier. So I'm going to put a little on here. And I'm going to make a strawberry. That's going to be really cute. And I was trying to think of uh, fruits that I could make that would go with my kitchen stuff. Because I have a lot of, and I just have like a little old towel over here just cleaning my brush. Because you don't have to have water. You can just have like an old rag or just get you like a paper towel. But I was thinking, trying to think of colors like for my kitchen. I know I have red in my kitchen. I have the turquoise because, you know, the Pioneer Woman, a lot of her stuff is turquoise. So I have a lot of turquoise as well. And then I, don't, I don't have a turquoise color. So I'm going to put a strawberry on here as well. I'm going to attempt to draw a strawberry. I'm, I tell you what, I'm not going to do strawberry. I'm going to do cherries. So I'm going to get me a little more of this paint. I'm going to do some cherries. I think that'll be easier. But you guys comment down below if you think this is something that you would be interested in. And if you're interested in this, your handful of mama can come on. You guys pick what day of the week that you would like to do this. And we can just have conversations on um, just conversations on what's going on in your life, what's going on in my life. We can address some issues as, you know, what we think of, that we could do to help each other. I know a lot of people, they might have issues on, you know, making a decision on if they want to, you know, Go to a new job or they want to keep the same job um, they might be stuck on should they move or you know sometimes we just have to talk to others to try to get us through certain things you have, might have some people out there that might be thinking about having a surgery or want to go to college want to move uh, relocate like I said, you have a lot of people out there that sometimes you can come on and you can um, come on YouTube and you might just be, you know, you might just be that person that needs, you know, they might need to talk to somebody to, you know, to make it through, to, um, you know, get their questions answered or, or get some kind of, um, trying to see the word. Some, just some type of answers. Because a lot of time people, when they talk to other people, they can kind of see a little insight on what they need to do. And they just like to get some 
some, you know, clarity, some answers. Because I know sometimes I, you know, I talk to my children sometimes and ask them, do they think I should do this or do I, do they think I should do that? Because I know I came on here probably around about, these probably ain't going to be the best cheers, but <laughs> I'm trying to make it happen. But uh, I know I came on here, I'm going to say about a month ago, and I was doing a live and I was saying that I might start coming on like every Friday and doing like a trivia game and do a little uh, giveaway, you know, on the trivia. And then one of my subscribers told me that they don't think I should do that. Uh, actually, I had two of them that suggested it that they would, well, one of them said they wouldn't do it again because they gave away uh, some money on their channel. And they said after they gave it away, those people never came back again. So it's like they was just there during their time just to win their money. And then I another one of my subscribers told me that probably wouldn't have been, you know, probably would not be a good idea because, um, with the money thing, you know, some people might be expecting it every week. So I decided not to do that. So sometimes we just need to talk to people. And, you know, some people might not have anyone to talk to. But y'all comment down below if you think your handful of mama could come on. We should come on here uh, weekly. Just pick the date that you think you might be free and might not have a whole lot of stuff to do. And your handful mom can come on here and we can just paint and chat or you can just color or whatever you want to do. Because I know one of my uh, subscribers and one of my YouTube friends, I'm not going to call her name, but uh, she's older than me because y'all know I'm knocking on 50's door and she's older than me. But she said her free time, she liked to color. So if y'all watch her, y'all know who I'm talking about. Even if you want to come over here and color, it's just something just to, to relax. Women get together and we can just relax and just talk and just chat. Because y'all know your handful of mama can talk up a storm, honey. So if you need someone to talk to, just comment down below and let me know what night you think you'll be free. It can be Monday night, Wednesday night, Friday night. I would prefer probably a Saturday night because I'm really not doing a whole lot on Saturday but just let me know you comment down below that's the only way I can uh, know what you guys want to do but we can come on and we can chit chat about things uh, it's all kind of topics we can talk about we can talk about the significant others or we can talk about living the single life I know a lot of people is living the single life and loving it and you know we can just discuss a lot of things we can keep it clean and discuss a lot of things so i'm almost about to be done with these cherries i'm going to show you guys how they look like i said i'm not uh i can't draw some things i'm not going to say i'm a professional at it but i will put my uh expertise and try to do anything it's the only way you can learn if you try. I tell a lot of people, just try. You never know what you can achieve. Just try. And I'm going to put this uh, green paint on here a little thicker. I love this paint. Like I said, this is one. Of, actually, this kid belongs to one of the children. And... Um, they're not using it, but I'm pretty sure they're going to be using it because some of the times I might just sit down and just, you know, paint with them. They'll have something to do. It's always good to take out time for your kids and your family and just do things besides these video games. My children know that the video games, I tell them, this life is not just about video games. The video games didn't even used to be here before. Um, I think that's okay. <laughs> My little cherries. And like I said, I apologize for the camera again. But y'all, I am hoping sometime in the future I can get some more, um, a more ca another camera or like I said, 
on my screens. It's very, it's clear, but it's hard for me to use my camera and screen uh, while I'm trying to do stuff like this. But uh, if we do become, you know, if I do do the lives and y'all want me to, we'll do the videos where we can come together and discuss things on any particular night out of the week. Uh, like I said, it can be through the weekday, it can be on the weekend, whatever y'all prefer. Just let your hand for mama know. But I have went ahead and draw two little designs. I'm probably going to put this in my kitchen. I'm going to think of some more fruits I can put on here. I'm probably going to do the strawberry. And then I'm probably going to do some apples. Um, but I'm probably just going to sit this one probably in the kitchen too. Y'all probably going to end up seeing it in my kitchen. You know, because I'm always in my kitchen cooking and stuff like this. So y'all probably going to see them. And I just might even sit it in my living room. I haven't decided yet. But the next time you guys get ready to throw these in the trash stop and think about it because you can make some beautiful designs on these even if you just want to throw a beautiful ribbon around it for christmas and dress it up like that it'll really be beautiful with the gold red and green and white ribbons tied all around it it would be cute just to sit around on your table or something for christmas or for any holiday so, you guys, this is your handful, Mama. I'm going to get off of here. I hope you enjoyed my little paintings on my little glass bottles and a nice old toast for you guys. I will see you later in the next video, my hands. Like I said, hit that like button if you haven't hit it already. Go ahead and subscribe to the channel if you haven't subscribed. And if you are a returning subscriber, I really appreciate you so, so much for coming by and checking out your handful, Mama. Don't forget to comment down below. Keep on those notification bells and make sure you comment, you guys, because I would love to have y'all uh, any times out of the week. Maybe I can give you some kind of advice. And that's the word I was trying to get five minutes ago, y'all. What, what's going on? Your handful, Mama's just tired. It's been a long, long day. But drop those comments down below. And let me know if your handful of mama can meet you guys one day of the week and we can discuss anything. I might can give you some advice. You probably can give me some advice. But don't forget to keep those notification bells on and hit that like for your handful of mama. I will see you later, my hunts, in the next video.